What is going on everyone? Commodore Last here today bringing you to my live reaction of One Piece Manga Chapter 939. Now, the chapter has come out. It has been two long weeks since I sat down in this chair. I put on this One Piece shirt and read the best-selling manga in history. It's been long two weeks, man. We left off, you know, with the crazy, insane, plot-twisting, game-changing storyline that came into play with Komurasaki being revealed to be, in fact, Kozuki Hiyori. I mean, that was a crazy twist, right? Nobody in the world could have believed Oda would go down that route. And guess what? He actually did, and it was crazy. It was amazing. Uh, we got to see the stuff that happened, you know, to Zoro, which, you know... I Look, the man wrote Whole Cake Island. I can understand if his brain wasn't all active and stuff, you know, during that time. You know, it happens, man. Brain damage happens, you know, post-events and stuff in his life. So I can understand if he, you know, messed up, messed up on stuff. Because we, we know what Zoro's been through and stuff in the story, right? So... It was just an Oda moment, you know, he kind of lost his touch there, but I expect him to kind of fix it up, you know, not, you know, write any more mistakes that he's, you know, done before, so we're good. Uh, the Shinobu and Law stuff we got to see, and then, you know, leading up to afterwards, Tony also pulling up, which I feel there's some more stuff lying around his character that I hope uh, Oda doesn't touch on here, and I can actually talk about it in the video and such, but if he talks about it, then, you know, it's a lost opportunity, but it is what it is. But without further ado, let's get into the chapter. Let's see what we've been uh, we've been missing these last two weeks, man. I can get this greatness back in my veins, man. So without further ado, let's get into it, man. One Piece chapter nine hundred thirty nine. Open this up. Alrighty, chapter nine thirty nine. A hold, an old Hirose knows the way, and we're seeing Jimbei. Okay, I can accept this. As a cover request, because this doesn't tell us, you know, for a fact that Jembe is in fact alive. But he's over here sitting down, chilling on the couch. A spider crab giving Jembe a haircut at the bottom of the ocean. Pen name Hugh. Uh, Hugh, you're sick in the head for, you know, this creature to be, uh, yeah. You're sick in the head for uh, for asking for a character like this to, or a thing like this in the background to be chopping, the, you know, Jembe's hair. But I can't complain. In Japanese, ho oh, horse. Okay, so in Japanese, Chinese proverb, if the Japanese horse, Yuma, is changed to leopard for a three-way pun, we have tried to make this work in English. So, he rolls safe. So, I'm guessing it's going to be the horse? Alright. Well, let's see what exactly Oda has to offer this time. So, let's get into it, man. Let's see. Next page. Page two. Page three. Your Momonosuke's younger sister. So Zoro took it a little bit different. So Zoro's actually shook about it. I wasn't expecting that from the action from last chapter where he was just kind of like, you know, hmm, like, you know, what's going on? But he's actually a little like, whoa, damn, like, Nani? The truth comes out after 20 long years. Ah, I was right. I'm glad I, I mustered up the courage to say something. What a gamble that was. So, do you know my older brother? <laughs> She's a gang all close to my boy. He's like, so he's still alive? Hold up. He's like, hold your horses. Let, let me process all this first. So he's still alive. Since a strong and kind samurai from the outside world appeared, at the same time the room that rumors the same time that rumors of the Kozuki family's return began to circulate throughout the country. It must mean that you are helping my brother. Ah, uh, but you could also be an enemy that's trying to capture my brother. <laughs> so she has like a split person. Well, I mean, not completely like uh, like pudding and stuff, but she has like, you know, like she's calm and then she's like worried and stuff. Like, you know, like normal things that, you know, girls, uh, you know, they would go through when they see a man. And I see back. We move. I am an ally, an A-L-L-Y. <laughs> she's like, oh, that is a relief. Is that, in that case, where's Kinemon and what of Kanjiro? And what of Raizo and Kikunojo? Kiku oh, oh, for Ki so that's her name though? Because we've been going with Kiku the entire time. I guess Kikunojo. Oh, I mean that's I guess what, what she she refers to uh, Kiku as. But that's her her first name, though. her actual name though. That's interesting. I mean, because we always call her Kiku, but I never think once we've ever heard the Kikunojo part. So, as everyone gathered together, Let's see, it's still snowing and stuff. I think I get it now. So this is what happened. Momo was sent 20 years into the future and stayed 8 years old. And that's why his younger sister is 26 now. So, of course, well, he didn't understand. He didn't know about the the whole story and everything. Because, you know, he, he you know, stuff happened, okay? He didn't have his GPS. What do you want me else to say, okay? Well, whatever it is, it really okay for that kid to know about this? Don't worry. I already knew. <laughs> Tonko's just like, yeah, don't worry about it. Like, you know, we don't have to worry about nothing, man. You know, it's, it's, it's a secret. It's all good. 
It's our little secret. Oh, I love this though. They show it for the hug and stuff. Ah, ha, ha, ha. is one of the few friends I I have that knows the truth. Her cheerful attitude has helped me push. Has helped to me to push forward. Oh man, it's just remembering that day. I'll never forget what happened 20 years ago. Even though I was just a child back then, and was even younger than Otoko is now. Inside that raging fire, I saw my brother and everyone else vanish. On that same day, I lost my father Odin and my mother too. I lost everything on that day. My brother promised promised uh, that he ret would return in 20 years, but I had no faith in his uncertain promise. That is why at that time, I lost my will to live. Why didn't you just go with them? Because in case the plan failed, they wanted to ensure that there was a way for the Kozuki bloodline to survive. That must have been tough. But my father's retainer, Kawamatsu the Kappa! Yo, so the theories were true! Okay, so because I remember people were saying, like, Kawamatsu, based on, like, the design and stuff, that he might actually be based on, like, the Kappa and stuff, like, the whole river thing and stuff. If you ever watch, like, Gintama especially, if you ever seen, like, you know, the Kappa that's in the show, that's sick! Yo, okay, so I like that, you know, they confirmed it right there. Kawamatsu the Kappa. But is it gonna have a better design than my man's from uh, Gintama? We'll have to see. It took care of me with such immense patience. Wait, wasn't uh, Kyosho was the one that was taking care of her though? But my retainers, but my father's retainer, Kawamatsu the Kappa, took care of me with such with such immense patience. A Kappa, yes, I'm sure that it is a hard for you to believe that such a demon exists, but he is proud of that fact. I'm certain they said it was Kyosho that was taking care of her, but I guess like somewhere along the lines, like I guess there was a separation that led to Kawamatsu possibly being in jail, and then. I guess that's probably what, it, uh, what was the case there. Because I remember uh, Sos Kyosho took care of Komurasaki, you know, Yori and stuff. So I guess there was like a splint uh, during like the timeline and stuff between the two of them after. Let's see. On that. Oh, and it confirms pretty much, you know, the dude that we saw that was like bowing down and stuff next to Toki and everything on the side that we didn't know who it was. That confirms it was Kawamatsu, in fact. On that day, the castle, on the day the castle burned down, enemies were surrounding us from all sides. And he was able to dig a hole into the water channel and we escaped without anybody noticing. Princess, please hold on. Princess, this is the Kappa dance. He always tried to cheer me up, even though I had remained mute since that day. He would let himself go hungry so that I could have enough to eat. Ah, it's nothing but a stomach ache. It is a good man. Yo, see the doorbell's a little one. I caught a fish in the river earlier, so I roasted it and ate it. Kappa pa pa pa. Little by little, he was able to make me laugh. So where is he now? We were separated from one another when I was 13. But Kawamatsu is a very strong samurai. He must be waiting somewhere for the final battle. I really want to see him again. I mean, he's in a prison cell for all I know. But at the very least, you know, once hopefully, you know, Ryze was able to get him out of there. And then, you know, he goes off with uh, Yogoro and Luffy. You know, hopefully when Big Mom enters uh, the prison and stuff, you know, they can get the, reu uh, the reunion and stuff. I love that. I love how Zoro's just drinking the whole time. And Toko has just like this funny face, just like watching on stuff. I love Toko, okay? I really want to see him again. What? The dog and the kitty are here too? I heard they died. Yo, so, yo, she, she, yo, she's an Inu fanboy, yo. A fangirl, I should say, in that fact. But she's also, she also likes Nekomamushi too. Well, I don't know if Nekomamushi has arrived yet. Huh? What's with that face? I am so happy, too happy. Yo, she, I love this girl, man. But, but but I will not cry because I am the daughter of a samurai. I love it. Ah, <laughs> big sis, you're hilarious. And she still has the face on everything too. Toko's all laughing. We got these six people along with Momonosuke. So the nine red scabbards being Inu Arashi, Raizo, Kanjuro, Kinemon, Kiku, Nekomomushi, and then I'm assuming the other three, of course, being Ashra Doji, Kawamatsu, and Denjiro. So that mark makes up the uh, the nine that are there. But I haven't met the last three yet. One of them is Kawamatsu, the man I was just talking about. And the other two are Denjiro and Ashra Doji. And we see her, she's holding on to the card and stuff. But it's not the same one that Kyoshiro had. Because remember, when she had, you know, was struck down and everything, we saw that there was a card, like, in her hand and stuff that Kyoshiro noticed. So, again, I feel like Kyoshiro is probably in, in the job. Like, he knows something that's going on. I have no idea where those three are or whether they are safe. But right now the capital is in, is in chaos because of this picture. So they will definitely appear when they see it. 
That picture helped us spread the information faster, but the most important part, the MIF location was leaked. And now our allies are being captured one by one. No matter how you look at it, it's not a good situation. I wonder what's going to happen. We, we may have more boatmen now, but our boat definitely isn't moving like we want it to. Maybe I should stop thinking about it. Yes. Yes, you need to rest, Orojuro. That way your wounds can heal. Please go to sleep. I am so happy. My brother is alive. Otoko. <laughs> He's getting agitated. He's like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> They're so loud. How am I supposed to sleep? <laughs> he just goes to sleep. <laughs> I love this, man. And Togo, <laughs> Togo's like sleeping too, right next to him. But the thing that he's still eight years old, how mysterious. Everyone's going to look the same as back then. I wonder what would happen if I went to meet them now. Well, maybe I should wait until after the final battle. Otherwise, it might disturb their plans. Isn't that right? Well, Toko. So I'm guessing. Hold on. So maybe I should wait until after the. No, I can nah, She's gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna somehow be involved in the final battle, like as like a watch, like watching on and stuff. There's no way she's gonna be staying off here for so long. Especially Zoro has to be, you know, a part of that as well. But. It makes you kind of wonder too that she probably does not have you know Toki's uh, double fruit and stuff because if she had escaped, it would have said something you know how, how, like she would have ate it or something. So now it makes me wonder like whatever happened to the possession of the fruits, you know, did it move forward in time? This you know did it get relocated somewhere else? You know, like it'd be interesting. We see him, <laughs> my voice still snoring, snore, snore. Flower capital, Rasetsu district. Get in there, you traitors. So you all were living off the capital's resources while we were waiting for the chance to rebel. How impudent. And we're seeing here like the people that uh, were getting like the um, the cards and stuff afterwards. They're being locked up in the bin. How, oh, Fukuro Kujo. How unfortunate. Your plan was exposed already. You have failed. Hold on just a second, Sir Fukuro Kujo. What proof do you have that symbol is a mark of rebellion? It's nothing more than a long forgotten symbol that used to be popular. I know nothing of any rebellion. Silence. If that is the truth, then why do you also have this riddle in your possession? Lord Orochi put out an imperial order, so just stay in there and behave yourselves. Rasetsu Prison, aka the Prisoner Showcase. To think that there are this many of you, of all of you passerbys, take a close look. This is what will become of you if you try to oppose Lord Orochi and Kaido. Look at those idiots, what a show. Look, more are being thrown in. This is the worst possible situation. I hope they don't think we can we ran uh, we can ran our mouths. Captain will definitely be yo. They got yo. Nah 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 nah. They pulled up on Penguin Sachi and my man Beppo, and they they gave him the whip, bro. They brought the whip out and they started cracking it on these guys. Nah, if Lossy's what's happening, bro, he's gonna crack a couple of these people down, man. He's gonna get that room, start slicing heads off, bro, and you're not gonna get him back. Look, man, if if Law sees right now, don't matter who you are, bro. Without them powers, you ain't yo, you ain't doing nothing to him, man. Let me see. Japanese for Raka Shaka, mythology, mythological being from Hindu mythology. This is a different take on prostitute showcases. How do I miss say they were common in Japanese past? Okay, but but man, yo, we've seen Beppo, Sachi, and Penguin just got beat to death well i want to say beat to death but they're not they're not in good condition right what's um whatsoever okay now we're going back to udon the prisoner mines do it alpaca man mandela man <laughs> hold on bro you see kawamatsu there hold on i want to sumo wrestle too yo yeah listen bro if y'all watch emperor's new groove and we ever get like you know another sequel to the film? Alpaca Man gotta be in the film as like you know the main antagonist. I, I feel him and Cusco bro would put on one of the greatest uh, spot deaths of all time, man. This is the end of the line for you too. We have sea stone bullets made exclusively in the Wano country. An armadillo. Hey, what you're gonna weigh, Mandillo Man? Gifters, Mandillo Man. He's an armadillo smile user. I mean, our, I like armadillos, but on this dude, it's just like. Design's kind of eh. But Alpaca Man, yo, he he little raw, I can't lie, you know? That ma the, the match will end too quickly. What a boring match that'd be. Shut up. This is an execution. Are they blind? This won't be the end. <laughs> Gramps, run to the right. Bend your knees and jump. Huh? Run to the right. So he's using... Wait, but is he... Is he telling, is it, I'm going to say if it's from using observation or he's just like telling him exactly, you know, what to do. But it kind of feels like that. If he's telling him in step, 
you know, to do this, do that, and that. He's seeing, like, a little bit into the future for that thing. So, if that is the case, man, then, I mean, it's a little bit, but it's still impressive from Luffy to do that to kind of help out uh, Oji-san out of the way. You see how Pokemon spit, bend my knees, you bat, and jump, and he Goro out here with the Shibata head, but he's like, boom, hits him right there. A Pokemon down for the count? What? Seriously, Grandpa, he was so agile. Good job, Gramps. He's like holding onto his head, but he took him down. He's hey, he's on his back. I see feet up. He's down. Ah, he's yo, he not yo, yo. No need for no Cusco, bro. He'll grow the flower out here, man. What was that? Can you see the future? Now the left side. I'm telling you, man. Even if this is just like a little bit, this is impressive for Luffy at the very least. He's able to help somebody else. Of his stature and stuff. Because if he's not doing this, bro, then, you know, Alpaca Man would, might be washing him right now. Just because, you know, shriveled up and everything. But this is impressive, though, from Luffy, you know, to do stuff like this. And, again, even for himself, I think now we're he, you know, it's going to be a lot tougher to try and beat him. At least for other lesser guys and stuff, you know, that are, uh, to try and match up with him. Now the left side. You bastard. <laughs> you see Alpaca Man coming in trying to cut left. You see Arm uh, Mandela Man. Jump, jump. I can't hit him. What's up with this guy? You see him like, yo, Luffy's like floating. And he comes in and he's, did you get him? As if that worked, you fool. Arma de guard. What? Huh? So he's like covering his mouth and stuff. No, I did it wrong. This is just normal armament. Huh? He's not hitting me. Which way now, Straha man? Apakasa. Chi 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 chi. You're fine as is. Huh? Hup. And he ends up grabbing him. This is more fun. How absurd. Put me down. If I were to cause any more trouble for you, the heavier, the better. I'm training. Even though you were caught and forced into an execution game, you've been, put, stop, put, you've been stopping your punches short, shouting out, I did it wrong, over and over. What exactly are you? It's not like I don't want to punch them. I just want to shoot out a, a punch powerful enough to push them back without touching them. So the thing that really uh, showed back in the, uh, the post-war arc, if I can do if I can do that, I think I'll be able to break through Kaido's tough scales. But you're but that's a test though. I mean, obviously that doesn't mean like it's for certain, but I mean again, it's not hard to you know to try and figure out exactly how you're gonna bypass them and stuff, but could that be the key? Like an advanced form like that that style, could it be enough to break through the barrier and stuff? Like, you know, like a spirit thing? Like if I can do that, I think I'll be able to break through Kyle's tough scales, but I won't know for sure until I try it. I've seen it before, and it's still color of armaments. And you see it from, uh, oh my god, it's been so long, freaking, uh, Sentomaru. There you go. Ashigara do dokoi. This hockey, this hockey you speak of must be what outsiders call it. Strahaman, here in Wano, we also have an ability like that. It is transferred to a sword from the user's body. So that when you want to cut something, our sword will cut even the thickest of steel. And when we don't want to cut something, our swords will not cut the thinnest of paper. The sword becomes one with the sword master. A long time ago, I learned that technique from a sword master. I do not know if I will be able to teach it to you, but please watch this. Are you about to see yo? Hold on, are we able to see your girl master class? Ah, Gramps. Tell me what will happen. He's going to swing the sword in his right hand and with everything he's got. Huh? And he goes, dodges. Yo! Old man skip! Let's go, old man greatness. Comes in blasting right out of Alpaca Man. And I'm guessing that's like his own style of doing it. But look, look at the, yo, look at the face he's making. He's like, oh, let's go. And I'll back up his little shuck right there before he actually gets milli rocked. Oh, there's got to be more. Yeah, there's more. He deflected it. Mwahaha. It looks like you still got some life left in you, Gramps. Gah. Oh, Paco man. Whoa, Grandpa Hugh. He did what? He defeated one of the gifters. So Grandpa Hugh really is Hilgoro of the Flower. What were you trying to do? Was the, was that it? If so, I may be able to help you. Whoa, that's the one. Please teach it to me. Even greater power. So, 
even though Rayleigh's not around to be able to teach Luffy this, I, he's found the guy that's going to probably be able to teach him a technique that might actually land some damage on Kaido. Not for certain that it's going to be a guarantee that it can lay some damage on him, but again, this is something that he's going to be learning uh, to help him out in like later fights. And again, this is really cool right here, man. Your girl, even though all shriveled up and everything, is, yo, he's still holding it down, man. But this was a pretty good chapter, though, honestly. I mean, we got to find out, you know, Kalamatsu, of course, being revealed to be the Kappa and stuff. And see, you know, from uh, Hiyori, exactly what happened with her. Obviously, there there has to been some kind of, like, a time switch and stuff. Uh, you know, her time with Kawamatsu before, you know, going afterwards with Kyosho. So there was got to be, like, some kind of separation. Maybe Kyosho got involved and, you know, Kawamatsu being in prison or something happened where, you know, he got captured. And then because Hiyori was by herself, you know, maybe Kyosho came in and saved her after the fact. But... That's going to be interesting to think of, though, honestly. But this stuff right here, man, like, Alpaca, man, like, yo, he was looking like he was impressive. Armadillo, look, Armadillos are sick, but Mandillo, man, I don't know, he wasn't it. But he'll grow right now, man. Look, I have a lot of high hopes when it comes to this man. And, you know, Oda's already said, once we get this guy in here, you know, from Shinobu's talk and everything, you know, we can really garner the final, like, remnants and stuff for the Alliance, you know, for all the members we need to recruit to get that 5K uh, and, you know, this man's going to be essential to helping Luffy uh, get a lot stronger and stuff. So, you know, yeah, this is this a really good chapter. I like this one, man. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. How do you guys feel about this whole chapter in general, you know, regards, you know, from the beginning and end? Uh, your thoughts on, like, you know, how Hyogoro is going to handle the whole thing with, you know, Luffy, you know, the advanced arm in hockey, you know, that whole, like, uh, wave blast kind of thing. Uh, do you feel like it's going to be something that may lead to, you know, Kaido being damaged because it's outside, like, body is like not able to get hurt so maybe it's going to be something that kind of bypasses that and hurts him from the inside i mean i'm not too sure because really you can just speculate to whatever it is but i'm curious to know how like you know this training process is going to go you know how much more deeper we get into this whole thing and not to mention the whole thing with you know swords and hockey and stuff which you know it's gonna be really interesting to talk about you know in uh, later chapters but uh Again, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. I'm um, gonna see if we can try and get a discussion going in sometime next week. You know, an actual like discussion video or so. So stick, uh, look forward to that. And with that being said, I will catch you guys next week, man, for the discussion and chapter 940 of One Piece. And uh, hopefully, we'll get to see uh, some more training. Hopefully for Luffy here. And if not, maybe we get to see you know Queen kind of step in and says, you know what, let's throw hands and see what's going on. And who knows, maybe that's what we get to see Luffy try. You know. Uh, you know, try and showcase some of the stuff that he's learned against someone, you know, who's on a stepping stone to Kaido being queen. So, Commodore Lad signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy.